Do you know what telemedicine and telehealth is? Well, hey, stick around, because you're gonna find out. So let's be honest, you do everything else on the internet. Why not see your doctor that way? All right, so let's get the boring definitions out of the way first. The American Telemedicine Association defines telemedicine as the use of medical information exchanged from one site to another via electronic communication to improve patients' health status. Okay? They go on to define telehealth as a much more broader term, stating that is remote healthcare that does not always involve clinical services, video conferencing, transmission of still images, e-health, including patient portals, remote monitoring of vital signs, continuing medical education, and nursing call centers are all considered part of telemedicine and telehealth. So to put it simply, uh, it is two things. One, you seeing a doctor and getting medical advice slash treatment and or your doctor using it to communicate medical information to another doctor or testing center or something like that. So, yeah. But here's my definition and probably the more practical one that you're looking for anyways. Telemedicine is essentially your ability to communicate with a doctor on demand 24 hours a day, seven days a week and 365 days a year. That can be done through a traditional phone call, a text message, or an even face-to-face -face video call. Now, an even more important question, how much does telemedicine cost? Well, it's kind of the wild west of telemedicine right now. Even though some companies have been around for over 10 years, there's still a lot of different choices or models out there that you can look to. The first is traditionally reminiscent of how you might pay for a regular office visit to see your doctor. You pay a flat dollar amount every time you need to use the service. The only difference is instead of actually showing up and dealing with a horrific waiting room, you can do it in the comfort of your room with or without pants. That means you're gonna have a fixed fee every time you need to go see a doctor, and it's usually gonna be around 40 to $50. In a word, not much cheaper than actually seeing your own doctor. There's a couple companies that offer this pricing model. Uh, one is called Doctors on Demand and the other is American Well. Then there's the Netflix of telemedicine already. Yes, I said Netflix of telemedicine. You essentially pay a monthly subscription to have a doctor on call in your pocket whenever you need him or her. But those benefit packages usually include discounts for things like vision, dental, and even prescription medication coverage. And where the other pricing was a pay per visit model and was gonna run you 40 to 50, maybe even 60 bucks per visit, the monthly subscription is gonna be anywhere in the neighborhood of 15 to 20 to $25. So what are the problems of telemedicine then? Well, there's definitely a few. If you wanna start with the obvious, you're just physically not in the same place as your doctor. So that means the service and treatment you can receive are going to be limited to less serious conditions. And it's entirely possible that your phone on your camera is not taking the best of picture of that rash that you wanna show the doctor, and they might not be able to make an exact diagnosis based on the blurry image because your son or daughter smudged your lens and you forgot to wipe it off, and yeah, that's never happened to me before. And it's also important to note that the telemedicine services are really not to be used to monitor chronic conditions. So if you keep calling them up about uh, the high blood pressure, the diabetes, things like that, they're probably just gonna hang up on you. All right, they're not gonna hang up on you, but it's just not what it's for, so don't expect it to kind of fill that, that void for you. And of course, technology is fantastic. However, it just is not always our friend, and I can guarantee you at some point, Wi-Fi will conspire against you, and you will not be able to have the clearest of quality call with said doctor something will probably just not work right. And having that expectation going in, just being a rational human being about things might help a little bit. So then what are the benefits of telemedicine? Well, fantastic question. These are again, pretty obvious and easy. One, you don't have to leave your house and or put on pants. And by not leaving your house, that means you don't have to play waiting room Russian roulette and expose yourself to even more serious illnesses. Yeah. Also, you're not running on your doctor's schedule, they're running on yours. Fantastic. Just even say that out loud for a second. It probably sounds liberating. Turn a cartwheel if you want. You have my permission. That means you don't have to worry about calling your doctor to find out that he or she took two weeks off again for another European getaway. So what's the bottom line? Again, it's still pretty early in the telemedicine game, but already there's some exciting alternatives to what's out there for you. Are they perfect? Well, probably not. But the more you and other people give it a try, well, the faster things are gonna get moving and really take off. So what's the next step? Well, if you really want to see, and just not believe me, because I probably said a lot of things that might sound a little too good to be true. If you want to actually see uh, what it's like to kind of 
start one of these visits and, and how fast they work and and the kind of the overall conversation and what what you know just kind of go behind the you know open the patient doctor door curtain whatever we're going to pull that back click right here on my face to do that let's learn a little bit more about that and just kind of actually see uh, be a fly on the wall if you will and one of these kind of visits so go ahead click right here on my face or there is a link below in the video's description of course as always i do appreciate you taking the time to watch this video it does mean a lot to me and of course i am joey jingola with jingola insurance take it easy everybody but those benefit packages usually include discount but the uh, and of course it's entirely possible that your camera phone camera phone who says camera phone anymore <laughs> and not leaving your house means you don't have to play waiting room russian <laughs> and by not leaving your house that means you don't have to play waiting room russian roulette russian roulette russian roulette russian roulette get it right